that is contained in a ball bag, and you can abide in a pure all of the being that is peace, freedom, love, and joy. To the best of your ability, that you do live this teaching. And in your living this teaching, you can be a positive, uplifting influence to your wife during this time, which I realize. Not a judgment, but I realize for self is resistance to the teaching. But you can be a next instrument, a doorway, by living it and being it to the best of your ability that can bring solid to your life during this Okay? All oh, everyone understand one thing. That which is born dies. You think you were born? If it seems like you were born and you're identified with the body and the mind is being you, then understand something. You're going to die. And not just a little bit. You're <laughs> going to die totally. <laughs> And you're not going to be remembered for very long. <laughs> so just be ready to accept that. You'll be remembered by those near and dear to you as long as they're around. But when they're no longer around, those that remember you, you're not going to be remembered. So can you live with that? Are you okay with that? Are you recognizing that the true recognition is in the being of the awareness that you are, and this being of the awareness that you are itself will live forever, whether it's recognized or remembered by anyone else or not. For example, if you had a dream on your side of the place while you were asleep, what happened to all the people when you woke up? Fancy dog, you can't even remember who all was in the dream. So if you're not remembering them, you think that they are feeding hot milk fat, but you're not remembering them? <laughs> so we get so caught up in this dream that then we don't recognize it to be what it is. Yes, when we are identified with it, it's certain it seems to have solid objective reality independent of our consciousness of it, but it does not. Our consciousness of what appears to be is what sustains and maintains the appearance of what is presenting itself in an as manifestation in our experience. But it's all going on in our own imagination. It's all going on in the consciousness that we are. And what is significant and important is to awaken to this dream of mortality. Awaken to the awareness that we are and abide in the as and from this awareness that we are. That's the highest and only important purpose, if you want to call it a purpose, of this existence. Well, anyone else? Everyone take note of this presence how it is focused, how it is radiating and shining as your own I am. It's just intelligent energy. It's the one intelligent energy that is radiating and shining as the I am of all of us on this planet. 
all, it is also not different. It's not the latest energy in Vancouver all the way over to all of us and all the way around to India and Sri Lanka. They are all in this intelligence energy. This is on my present, on this one. This one intelligent energy is everywhere present, every wind present, as the spirit of am. We're all present out here. And this is prior to time, prior to space. This is what we are. It's not an eye that is it is this being the eye. But it's a period in time and space that seems to be an individual. But in truth, there is no other individual. There's only this universal I am that we all are. Let's go entirely into it and dissolve the sense of I as a separate entity into the pure universal awareness of I am. This is the one work of this specific before the spiritual work is concerned. Everything else in all this respect just is leading enough to come to this place to let go into the pure I am. It's not a law that it brings you into the pure awareness. When you get caught up in anything else and facing back the base, then you can remain in a back limitation for countless lifetimes and make no progress to God at all. Itself, with what extent there is still alive and with resistance to letting go into this pure way. Now, this is said with judgment, it's just been said as a fact. The resistance is still present. If it is present to you, acknowledge it to yourself, ask yourself to forgive yourself, to be forgiven. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Your own higher nature for meditating in such a self identity. Recognizing this meditation of a self identity. Recognize the resistance that is still alive by and in and by this meditation of a self identity. And ask your own higher nature to forgive you. And say to it, Let me just speak to it. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Back to the relief of his spirit. Do this thing. Do it with every time you recognize the slightest irritation going on in the circumstances or rising out of the circumstances that are occurring in your life. If you're recognizing in any, any irritation towards anyone or anything, then you are meditating on such a self identity. And you are there as the one that is feeling the irritation through the meditation of a self self identity. And in that moment, say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. And give love to that which seems to be the source of irritation, which is really the meditation of a self self identity. You see it. Let's go into it and be happy. Be free. Let me think that if there's any irritation at all for anything, it's what we are doing to ourselves by meditation and such a self identity and identifying with it and calling it irritation. Seeing it as irritation. You're doing the irritation. It's not something that someone outside of us is irritated with. There is no someone outside of the awareness that you are. 